Hi and welcome back to class of product development and entrepreneurship. I am Hitesh Dayani, assistant professor at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. This is lecture 14, design for mental mentability. Learning outcomes of this lecture is to learn the design for mentalities. So in previous lectures uh, up to uh, this we learned uh, design for manufacturing, design for assemblies and uh, what are the guidelines for design for manufacturing and assemblies. Now in these lectures we will learn uh, design for mentality. So in these lectures we learn what is mentality, uh, what is the types of maintenance, uh, which are the types of maintenance and uh, which are the points of maintenance or repair uh, that all we learn in these lectures and also we learn the guidelines or general rules that must be followed during the uh, design process for the uh, design for mentabilities. So let's first start the design for mentabilities. So what is mentability? So mentability is the degree to which product allows safe, free and easy replacement of its component. So as we know that uh, uh, when we uh, design the product and after uh, design the product is manufactured and selling is start. So after the use of product uh, sometimes the component is uh, fail and at times we have to uh, maintain that component by replacing it uh, or by uh, maintaining it. So it is the requirement uh, of maintenance uh, when the component is fail. And that is the consider in our design so we can easily uh, replace the components or easily repair any parts of our products uh, when it, it will be failed. So that could be the initially considered in our product development or uh, product designs uh, and uh, uh, that are guidelines which we have to follow that also we learn in this lecture. So, uh, Lack of maintainability will be evident in uh, high product maintenance cost, uh, long out of service time and possible injuries to maintenance engineers. So uh, if uh, uh, maintainability is not considered in machine design or product design, so it will be increase the high product maintenance cost or uh, uh, service times of uh, product is required uh, uh, long times and uh, also it is the chances of injuries, injuries of uh, maintenance engineers. So we have to consider the maintainability in uh, our product design. So first we have to uh, know which kind of the maintenance are there. So there are two kind of maintenance activities uh, and that is uh, first is preventing maintenance and second is the remedial maintenance. So first we learn the kind of maintenance activities. First is the preventing maintenance. So what is the preventing maintenance? So for example, replacing engine spark plug every 30,000 kilometers or you can say the changing the oil filter. These are the examples of preventing maintenance. So this is the types of maintenance where the component is not failed but we have to uh, replace uh, the component after certain uh, life period so uh, we can avoid the failure of component so preventing maintenance requires the replacement of parts that are still working but are expected to fail soon so it will be uh, expected to fail soon so before failure of that component we have to replace it and that is nothing but the preventing maintenance. Second types of uh, maintenance activity is the remedial maintenance or you can say the repairs. So if you consider the examples of remedial maintenance, so it is uh, fitting a new vehicle uh, starter motors where the existing motor has burned out. So uh, remedial maintenance here you can see that the mot starter motor is the fittings when the existing motor has burned out. So it is the maintenance when the existing component is failed. 
so motor is has burned out means motor failed and after the fail of motors the fitting of new uh, starter motors is uh, considered so it is the remedial uh, maintenance when the component is failed so it is done after the failure of component so remedial maintenance is prefer uh, is performed after the product has failed and if uh, the anticipated life of the component is known the failure can be avoided by the sequel replacement if uh, we know the life of particular component so to avoid the failure of that component we have to replace uh, that component before the failure of uh, that component so these are the two kinds of maintenance now next is the line of repairs so now we have uh, we have to know that uh, there are the failure of component now question is what where the uh, component is repair where the product is repair so there are the lines of repair so uh, further consideration is where the components are to be replaced so once the component is failed the next question is where the component is replaced so uh, this could be at the point of use so where the customer use the product it is the point of use second is at at a uh, repair uh, repair depot uh, so where the service centers or repair depots is available so at that place also we replace the component and third is the at the point of manufacturers manufacturer so where the company is manufacturing the components it is the uh, at the point of manufacturer so these are the three points uh, where the product can be replaced and according to this geometrical uh, points of repair there are uh, often refer as the line of maintenance as follow first line of maintenance second line of maintenance and third line of maintenance so according to the geometric points of repair there are three lines of maintenance first line of maintenance second line of maintenance and third line of maintenance so let's start first line of maintenance so first line of maintenance means what it occurs at a point of use so whenever the uh, component is replaced at the point customers uh, place <coughs> uh, it is considered as a first line of maintenance and it could be at home where the vehicle breakdowns and it is uh, appropriate to replacement of small modular uh, modular items that requires the minimum kit to uh, replace the component so where the uh, small modular items can be replaced at the first line of maintenance second is the second line of maintenance it occurs a nearly nearby maintenance depot so it means what uh, uh, this could be a railway workshop car dealers or your local domestic uh, appliance service center so this will be considered under the second line of maintenance next is the third line of maintenance so third line of maintenance it is undertaken by the manufacturer and uh, it is a rare of volume products to be uh, returned to the manufacturer for the repair so <clears throat> the product is returned to the manufacturer through the uh, repair so it is the consider under the third line of maintenance so based on the geometry point of repair there are three uh, line of repairs first line of repair second line of repair and third line of repair so now <clears throat> let's uh, consider the general rules uh, for the design of uh, maintainability so first uh, general rules for the maintainability is the maintainability is created during the design process it cannot be aided later so whenever you start the design of that components or any particular uh, products then you have to consider in earlier stage means the in the design process so maintainability is created during the design process and not later be added so later you can not add it the maintainability in your product so it is the first uh, general rules for the design for maintainability second is uh, rules is uh, consider where the maintenance will take place 
वेदर इट इज फर्स्ट लाइन ऑफ मेंटेनेंस सेकंड लाइन ऑफ मेंटेनेंस एंड थर्ड लाइन ऑफ मेंटेनेंस हैज यू लर्न इन प्रीवियस स्लाइड फर्स्ट लाइन सेकंड लाइन एंड थर्ड लाइन मेंटेनेंस सो यू हैव टू कंसीडर ड्यूरिंग द डिजाइन प्रोसेस वेयर द कंपोनेंट्स विल बी रिप्लेस थर्ड रूल्स इज द कीप इट सिंपल सो complex we know that complex arrangement are usually harder to maintain so we have to keep it simple and fourth is uh, re- design reliability into items that are difficult to maintain to reduce the need of uh, need for the maintenance as well. so uh, design reliability is into items uh, that are the difficult to maintain uh, so that uh, we can reduce the need for the maintenance as well. and next is uh, avoid the requirement for the special tools so whenever we have to uh, replace the parts we have to design uh, the components such that we uh, never uh, requirement of uh, special tools so these are the uh, general rules uh, for the design for maintainabilities and uh, we have to consider uh, it while we doing the design of any components so in this lectures we learns the what is maintainability which are the kind of maintenance and uh, uh, what is the lines of maintenance or lines of repair and uh, what is the general rules for the design for maintainability thank you